Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from BTN HD, and today is all about configuring your Unify router and controller. Uh, there's two ways to do this. You could have a physical machine or a virtual machine, or if you have the cash, I think it's $100, you could get a Unify cloud key and it becomes your controller. Within this video, I'm gonna use my laptop and make that as a controller, okay? So first things first, uh, my laptop, I physically plugged it in into the router. Uh, the router has a LAN port and also a WAM to LAN or WAM port, okay? So once my laptop was hooked up to the LAN, uh, I right clicked on the start menu, went to command prompt with admin, and I did IP config, and it gave me a 192.168.16. Now that's the IP that the router automatically gives you because it has DHCP enabled, and so off the bat, you're gonna get an IP address. I typed in exit to exit out of the command prompt, and I launched my Chrome, and within Chrome, you need to go inside downloads.ubnt.com unify, and within the software section, you need to locate Unify SDN controller and whatever latest version there is. Now the version that I picked during the time of this video was 5.9.29 for Windows. I'm gonna click on it, accept the license and terms, uh, click on download file, or you're able to copy the URL and open up another tab. I clicked on download file and it automatically started downloading the installer. Now the installer is about 117 megabytes, which is pretty small. Uh, once it downloads, uh, you're able to click on it and you get the nice little Unify setup, click on install, and automatically I received an error. It looks like the application requires Java. Wow, I can't believe there's applications that still use Java. When you click OK, it automatically takes you to java.com to download Java. So click on free Java download agree and start the free download and depending on what browser you use i'm using chrome it automatically started downloading the exe file on the lower left hand side it's about 71.2 megabytes on file size so once it downloads click on it uh, click on next click on install okay it's going to start installing the java once it's completed close it and you need to rerun the Unify installer. So go inside your downloads folder or wherever you dropped it into. Double click on it and it will run the Unify setup again. Click on install. And if everything works well, it should automatically bypass the whole Java thing. Once it's done, bam, that's it. By default, you have start Unify controller after the installation. Uh, leave that as is, click on finish and you're going to get this, a nice little uh, Unify controller. It's going to start initializing the Unify controller and you're going to get this Windows security alert, allow access, and then it's going to start the Unify controller. It's gonna go green, which is a good thing, and then you're able to click on launch a browser to manage the network. When you click on it, your web browser, your default web browser will launch up. Uh, I have Chrome, so I had to go inside advanced and proceed to the local host. And this is the Unify Setup Wizard. Uh, select your country and your time zone. And if you want, you are able to enable auto backup. And click on next. It should automatically pick up your Unify router, which is this one right here, with the IP address. Uh, you are going to check mark it and then click on next. If you're configuring a Wi-Fi, which I am not, uh, I left it as is, so I clicked on skip. Provide an admin name, an admin email address, an admin password. Also make sure you click on the little eyeball and write this down because uh, the device authentication admin password is very important to get. Once you have all that information, click on next and then confirm it, finish. Now if you want, you are able to configure the cloud login credentials. If you have a Unify account, use your email and your password and enable cloud access. Now this works best if you have a cloud key. Uh, you enter the information, enable it. If not, you can skip it. It's gonna start processing. Eventually when everything works and it goes through, you're going to get this, your main page. Now if you wanna configure your WAM port, uh, you open up a new tab and type in setup.ubnt.com. Again, you need depending on what browser you're using, for me I'm using Chrome, so I had to click on advance and proceed to setup.ubnt.com and provide your gateway uh, username and password, sign in, 
and automatically it's going to say congratulations your gateway is connected to the internet which is great but if it doesn't and you have issues which i had make sure you click on edit configuration dhcp if you have a an ip address to go outside in the world add it there your router your primary dns your subnet and your secondary subnet and hit save if everything works well you should get the congratulations but if you're having issues just edit the configuration and make sure everything uh, is correct now within the main unified portal you are able to go inside devices and within devices you will see your uh, controller and because I had a unify switch 8 uh, I was able to plug it into the router and adopt it into the controller and that's it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one peace out